Welcome to the Files Data. Starbucks Corporation is an American coffee company with 23,768 locations around the world at the time of transmission. The first location was built in Seattle, Washington. The city is known for having significant cloud coverage and precipitation. The caffeine contained in coffee counteracts depression caused by overcast weather. Seattle is the city of Starbucks's birth but Los Angeles, California, average temperature of 17.6 degrees Celsius, gave birth to the, quote, Starbucks look. It was here that paparazzi began to take photos of individuals consuming the Starbucks beverages. Holding a Starbucks beverage is the only criteria to achieve the Starbucks look. Sipping said beverage in photograph is not necessary, but common. Pioneers and early adopters of the look are readily identifiable. One of the first was singer-songwriter Miley Cyrus. Photographic evidence of Miley Cyrus with the Starbucks beverages dates back to her early teens. Miley Cyrus would often take photos of her friends with the drinks. Miley Cyrus also took photos of herself with the drinks alone. Only Miley Cyrus and a Starbucks beverage alone. Her love for the beverages has continued for over a decade. This is known as brand loyalty. Financial records do not indicate where the Cyrus is monetarily compensated for publicly conveying the products of either Starbucks Corporation or that of tech hegemon Apple Incorporated. Other pioneers and early adopters of the Starbucks look include singer-songwriter Britney Spears. Spears often holds or is given two beverages in tandem and was influential in the look's proliferation. Britney Spears apparently fancies this look to the present day, as is evidenced by this video from 2015. For unknown reasons, fans of Miss Spears even made false advertisements, where she appears to officially endorse the company. Heidi Klum, a German supermodel, both loves the beverages and bolsters her children with them. British-American actress, model, and fashion designer Sienna Miller, in addition to developing the Starbucks look, was important in developing the boho chic look. American actress, model, singer, songwriter, director, and producer Lindsay Lohan, also consumed many of the beverages, in addition to those of beverage giant Red Bull. This is arguably a display of brand, disloyalty. Many of the aforementioned were also present at the Starbucks Looks Other Birthplace, by virtue of bilocation, in the U.S. city of New York. Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen, sororal twins, were often spotted in both LA and New York with the drinks. Like fellow pioneer Sienna Miller, the Olsons were responsible for proliferating the boho chic look simultaneously. Celebrities' drinks of choice are often the subject of articles. Sometimes the outing itself is made into a story. On the website Capital X17 alone, Britney Spears had 379 Starbucks-related media items published. Some celebrities angle their faces and pose for paparazzi for increased visibility, but not all are interested in this. Due to the predatory nature of paparazzism, those who are followed sometimes have violent reactions. Following the wholesale adoption of the Starbucks look by myriad celebrities, the American public followed in their stead. Due to the nature of celebrity, most of the media surrounding these Starbucks looks is autophotographical, as paparazzi express little interest in the goings-on of the masses. The company, however, does. Some humans, in addition to imbibing the drinks, will effect the more radical rendition of the Starbucks look, which is to dress as the beverages themselves. Sometimes they will disguise their domesticated animals as the beverages. Note that the pug is dressed as a quote, pumpkin spice latte. This is an allusion to the pumpkin spice latte. The name is commonly abbreviated PSL. The drink contains very little pumpkin, but much spice. Nonetheless, pumpkins are associated with the season autumn. This has allowed for the entrance of a seasonal Starbucks look, 
mirroring the fashion industry's autumn winter fashion calendar. This look has come to be associated with the concept of being quote, basic, the subject, another data transmission entirely. Another occasional element of the Starbucks look include, being with one's offspring. The wearing of sunglasses to protect the consumer's vision, often accompanies the consumer's look. Pajama pants and other loosely fitting garments, are often donned on the voyage to transaction. Starbucks locations offer wireless local area networks, thusly mobile, computing devices are often seen in tandem with the beverages. Sometimes desktop computers, named due to their weight and size, which usually requires that they remain stationary on a desktop, are brought to the locations. Note that human males also can achieve the Starbucks look. However, according to a study done by Civic Science in 2012, human males only account for 32% of the customers. This may explain the media's overrepresentation of female Starbucks looks. Starbucks workers themselves have a Starbucks look or uniform. Companies often require employees to wear branded garments in an effort to increase neural plasticization of its logotype in the customer's brain. The employee of Starbucks look, like the beverages themselves, are often copied by those who are not employed at Starbucks. The United States, a global superpower with a capitalist economy, often fosters companies that then open locations beyond its borders. Depending on the continent, the Starbucks look may change. If in Qatar, a Thobora Bayer might be worn with the beverage in hand. Using an American idiom in conjunction with a pun, or tool of word play, Starbucks look as a company is looking up. The company's collaboration with social media overlord, Snapchat, has enabled consumers to achieve a digitally filtered Starbucks look. And those, to whom they doubtlessly owe part of their success, namely celebrities, continue to consume their products, this perpetuates the look, with their movements still being tracked at the time of transmission, more than a decade later. In the Gregorian calendar month of April 2016, a publication called The Daily Mail wrote an article which read, quote, On Friday, Caitlyn Jenner kept things sartorially simple, for a coffee run in Malibu. Similar to the use of feline prints in human fashion, there exist certain trends, or recurring motifs, like the Starbucks look, in the world of fashion and external appearances that have remained cultural constants since their inception. Data transmission complete.